Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of this uh, Sanuki uh, HX50B that was sent out to me uh, to test. Uh, I am going to test it and demonstrate uh, how to use this uh, for lung terminals. It will go from AWG10 down to AWG0, which is approximately 5.6 millimeter square up to 50 millimeter square with 35 millimeter and 25 in between as well as all the others we are going to crimp one with this and we are going to crimp this one and this size here is one of the bigger sizes it's AWG4 now you can buy them up to AWG0 which is 50 millimeter AWG4 is 25 millimeter and this is 25 millimeter battery cable they also, before you do any crimp, you always put your heat shrink on. Now, I could put this one on from the other end if I wanted to, but <laughs> in, it's a good habit to get into. I think I've told you that before when we were doing other crimps. Just uh, this one for the size. And I know the size is, is 25 millimeter because 25 millimeter square is the same as AWG4. So, so I have it set here at 25 millimeter. I don't need the glasses anymore. I'm going to put the crimp into the crimper and hold it in place so that I can show you up close in one second how we are going to do this. So I am going to do it against, uh, I usually do them against my shoulder, but what I'm going to do is, uh, it's always a good idea to put the crimp, uh, the wire into the crimp now these have a nice cove on them and you can push that one down. That is hard to crimp because that copper is very heavy on these compared to the ones I was using earlier. I was using a lighter weight. And what we always do is we will put another crimp on it. That will never move. I will put a second crimp on it near the outside. And I'm gonna get my two hands on it together. I hope you can see it nicely there and the crimper has it in and uh, let me have a look at that now now that is absolutely brilliant oh that's what it looks like when it's crimped you can see the hexagonal crimping on 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 the crimp and it's just you have the correct size so now we're going to put the heat shrink on top of it i put this on low setting so you can push it down a little bit on it like that, but don't have it further than where, because these are offset so that they can lie on something flat. And you can see the glue coming out. They have glue in. They have glue in here. Uh, the glue, glue is seeping out through here. So, uh, so that's my crimp uh, done with. It's a bit hot still. I'll show you up close what it looks like. So that's your crimp with the sleeve on it. You can see the glue where it came out here from the. Uh, the you can see the glue there where it came out. That's the glue that's inside in the heat shrink. Put the heat shrink on even if the other end is open because it's a habit to get into and then you will always do it and you will not get stuck. So I'm going to put the crimp in here and then I'm just to hold it first. So then I will be able to show you it crimping. Uh, you can, it doesn't matter which side you crimp first. Some people like to crimp the outside first. So. Yeah, with these crimps, as you see, if the wire is a little bit tight, it's easy to get them in because the, it's tapered here on the end. It's tapered here, so it's much easier to get ones, especially if you're on a tight size, if you're on a tight size. So we will put this one in here and we'll push it down and we will see, will, will it crimp it on this side? And I will squeeze. Ah. That put muscles on you. Yes, it crimped that one fine. 
it, it made the lug out here because I put the smaller size on it on purpose, right? Because the wire is uh, the wire is smaller, so you can see the crimp here. I will put the second one and then we will show you it up close. So I'm going to give it the second crimp nearer to the eye. Now Sanuki makes a huge amount of these type of crimps. They have them in all different sizes, not just different sizes, but different sizes of eyes in them as well. The eye in this one looks like it is one quarter or M6. So we will put the sleeve back up over it then like this. You can let the sleeve down to just before where it where uh, it, the offset starts. That means it can lie flat and it's not going to interfere. I always use the heat gun for crimping. I don't like using a cigarette lighter. I don't think it's, it doesn't heat it, uh, uh, as evenly, I should say. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to heat it. This is very big for uh, the size of these crimps. So it's, I think they're three to one and I presume it will tighten in around it. You, which it is. We wouldn't have thought that big one would shrink down to there. Now I'm going to show you it up close and see it there. That's what the crimp looks like when it's done. So when you have, if you're, you see the glue has come out here, the glue, that's the glue that's on the inside of that makes the seal, the waterproof seal. And uh, no, that is, if you were doing a contract for somebody, that's what they would expect you to do, uh, not just for a DIY. But a DIYer can, do, can use this by buying a quite inexpensive tool. So that's my review of the Sanuki HX50B. Uh, crimper for lug terminals and uh, put a link in the description where you can buy this you can buy it in a set as well as as uh, on its own or you can buy it in different combinations and uh, thank you very very much for watching and if you like this video or any of our other videos please subscribe